From ABC, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Sitting in tonight, Sam Donaldson. Good evening. One has died, so the other might have a slim chance to live. Siamese twins Amy and Angela Lakeberg were separated today in a five-and-a-half-hour operation at Children's Hospital in Philadelphia. A team of 18 doctors and nurses performed the delicate surgery. Now, doctors have said without the operation, neither twin would survive. But even with it, Angela's long-term chances would be very, very poor. Still, as ABC's Jim Hickey reports from Philadelphia, the twins' parents wanted to go ahead. Angela and Amy Lakeberg were born seven weeks ago, joined at the chest. They shared one malformed heart and a liver. Doctors said they are pleased at the results of the risky surgery to separate the twins. The repair uh, went uh, smoothly uh, and uh, exactly as, as uh, planned and anticipated ahead of time. The shared heart had six chambers instead of the normal four. Surgeons reconstructed the organ and gave it to Angela. That meant Amy had to die. And surgeons admit that the long-term survival of Angela is still in question. It is obviously too early uh, to predict with uh, certainty uh, what the outcome will be, but it is encouraging uh, to have gotten this far. This morning, a family member held plaster imprints of the girl's hands, a gift from the hospital nurses after surgeons decided Amy would be sacrificed. The mother and dad and I got to say our goodbye to Amy and wish the very best for Amy and, you know, God's with us. The twins' parents, who have no medical insurance, decided to go ahead with the operation in Philadelphia, even after doctors in Chicago, where the infants were born, advised against it. The odds of either girl surviving, they were told, were almost non-existent. I was shocked. I was shocked. I, I was, I, I honestly didn't think either one of them were going to make it out of the operating room. The operation has caused debate because the chance of success was so small. Although Angela made it through the procedure and for now is in stable condition, the difficult questions of what is humane in cases like this remain. Jim Hickey, ABC News, Philadelphia. That question, whether operating was the humane thing to do, is one of 